Hey guys, it's Aurelius. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to teach you how you can make aesthetic looking book covers just like this one here, the version that's standing up like this. Here's one on a different topic, a nice aesthetic one like this. And you can even create a bundle just like this or this one here. And then with your product cover, you can then use it on your sales page like this here on my Payhip store. So I've got this one here and this one here showing your viewers what the product is. And this, my friend, gives it a more or higher perceived value. So let me show you exactly how you can create your own book mock-up or cover. All right, so to begin with, you don't need any sophisticated software such as Photoshop or even Canva. It's much easier than that. And you're going to simply use ChatGPT. Yes, that's right. You can simply use ChatGPT's image creation tool. And the best part is it's free for all users. And if you are on the free tier plan, there are limits in terms of usage and the amount of prompts that you can add and for ChatGPT to generate. As you can see, on their page there are rate limits but there is a five hour window so if you do stumble upon this message where it says you've reached your image creation limit simply wait and then you can generate again all right so open up chat gbt and all you're going to want to do you can do this in a couple of ways you can hit that plus button and then go and click on create image and that will put it in the create image mode otherwise no worries all you need to do is simply prompt it create an image of a book mock-up and then the next part is you add in the details such as the title of your book cover and the subtitle and i've simply continued on with the title yoga 101 and subtitle a beginner's guide to yoga at this stage you can very well just hit that submit button see what it comes up with but of course the more detailed the more specific you are in your prompt the better the output so this is where you can go and let it know do a flat lay version. So have that book laid on a table, for instance, with the view from the top, or you can do one standing up on a table with the background of your home. And so as an example, I continued on with, it should be displayed standing up with a background of an aesthetic home, add bokeh to the background, or in other words, make the background blurry. I'll hit submit, and this can take about a minute or two, depending on the server load. All right, so it's generated, it looks good right off the bat right there, but the only thing that's missing is probably Probably like a photo or stock image that they can use on the cover so as easy as simply prompting it again it will generate something to your liking so I'm simply gonna prompt it for something simple such as a woman doing a yoga pose on the cover so let's hit enter all right and here we go we've got the woman doing a yoga pose it's actually come up with something quite creative and it's put the woman right there in between the one and one so it should be 101 but you get the gist of it. And from here, it's about refining if you wish to do so. Let's say you don't like the colors of the text, you can prompt it for something like, you know, change the color to red, change the color to black. It does do that and it's able to understand it. Now, as you know, with AI, it's not perfect, at least at this stage. It is and has gone really far. But in this example, you can see that I tried to do a bundle and it's got some like a typo here, instead of uh, what I believe is meant to be beauty eating, it's come up with something that's kind of like gibberish. It doesn't know what it is. But to be fair, it did get all the others correct. But in these instances, all you need to do is provide the actual correction. And here's another example where on the side, you can see mindfulness for it's meant to be every day. And again, you can reprompt it. Sometimes it can't do it, sometimes it can. When I did reprompt it, it did put in this image which I didn't quite want so it did regenerate but something different but that's just a little disclaimer there but otherwise quite simple quite easy to use I in fact use chat GPT to generate all of my product mock-ups these days not Canva because with Canva you know that there are templates and many people use the same templates so it's a great use to make your covers really unique and by the way it's not limited to just book covers think about all of the product mock-ups that you can create using chat GPT such as t-shirt mock-ups, mug mock-ups, all sorts of things depending on what merch or what product you're selling. But there we go friends, quick and easy. That's a great aesthetic, beautiful images and product covers just like the ones I shared. Thanks so much for watching and I'll leave up a couple of relevant videos for you to watch next.